Well, thank you guys all so much for coming to celebrate the roses and WIC and to this lecture. Um, we have, you're in for a really big treat today. Um, Gregory Funk, who's been volunteering with us at WIC for the last year and playing with our historic recipes. Playing? <laughs> and perfecting recipes that date to 1812 and all over the past, really. Um, and for those of you that are new to WIC, just to give you a really brief overview, WIC is a really special place since it's home to nine generations of one family's lives. Um, so from 1690 to the 1970s, this plot of land that we're on right now is occupied by nine generations of the Wistar Haynes family. And they saved all of their belongings, including, luckily for us, their recipe books. Um, and Gregory Funk will take it away. <laughs> Thanks. I feel official now that I put my apron on. I'm not making anything. Um, my name is Greg Funk. Uh, like Tess said, I've been volunteering for a year. Um, this is a very special place, so just join me today in a conversation. This is not a lecture. That gets me all, that gets me all nervous. So we're in, pretend we're at the kitchen table. You're, we're sitting there having a cup of coffee. If you have a question, stand up if you're comfortable. Give us your first name, or let's just, we're just going to be buddies for the next half hour. Um, you might have to remember where I was before you asked your question. <laughs> Um, let's just remember through this that houses talk, gardens talk. We just have to be quiet enough to listen. Um, we can have a conversation um, about WIC without talking about our New Year's cake. Um, Jane Baum comes from New York, from Flushing. Um, as a bride, carrying um, a New Year's cake recipe, receipt, in her vernacular. Um, um, we still have her receipt, and we have the mold that she brought with her. So they're very similar to a sprinkly, where the dough is put into a mold, it's turned out and, and carved. We have this one. It is in the dining room, if you want to look at it. Um, I'm not allowed to use this one. <laughs> but there's a 19th century reproduction that we bake on at Christmas. Now, did you notice I said Christmas? I'm going to backtrack. Um, Quakers did not celebrate Christmas. Every day was holy. Um, no day was more special than the next, but we did celebrate New Year's. We were allowed to slide that party. <laughs> um, and we still have that party, by the way, um, in January. So we have recipe, we have the mold, and we have the cookie. <laughs> They're pretty good size, actually. Um, what's it taste like? Um, Kind of a sugar cookie, kind of a shortbread, um, flavored with spices, cinnamon and nutmeg, and caraway seeds. Mm. So in that, in that Italian cookie, wine cookie thing, wherever that is, um, it needs a Guinness. <laughs> it needs a glass of sherry. Yeah. It does not need like 1950s punch. Got it. You under, you got, can you feel it? So come back because we're seasonal, especially here in the house and the garden. 